And on that storm damage cleanup, uh, a lot of it was in Northwest DC and Chevy Chase. Randy Ayala joins us now live with that story. Randy, now that the sun is up, uh, what are you seeing in the way of damage? Yeah, good morning to you, Wisdom. So look, we're here at 33rd and Tennyson Streets in Northwest here. This neighborhood has a lot of trees, ton of trees throughout of it. Uh, this is one of the bigger ones that have come down because there's a lot of little ones down as well here uh, in this neighborhood. Uh, so you can see it looks like uh, the top half of this tree trunk just split in half, toppling over uh, the bottom half still standing there. And then it took these power lines down with it. Uh, now with the daylight, we're seeing just how tangled these power Power lines are uh, wrapped around portions of this tree here. Uh, crews have already started the process of cutting uh, this huge tree trunk and uh, some of those branches into smaller pieces to be taken away here. I did check Pepco's outage map about 30 minutes ago. Around 50 customers now without power, uh, down from just over 60 about an hour ago. But you can see it's uh, kind of like a jungled mess out here. And we were here last night too as crews were getting to work. We spoke with Ashi Tandon. He's lived in this neighborhood almost 40 years. He's seen at least a dozen trees fall, he told us, and he says a tree branch about six feet long smashed through a window in his house, uh, breaking that window and the glass table. Next thing we heard is a big rumbling. The house, whole house rumbled. There were torrential rain, house rumbling. And I got up and my wife came running. She says there is a tree branch through our window. And I couldn't believe her. All right, you see that huge tree behind Ashi? That tree is just a block or two from where I'm standing. Uh, Ashi told us he called the city about that tree three times. He said someone came to take a look at it, said it was fine and it just needed to be trimmed. And you can see it was completely uh, uprooted with the storms we saw yesterday. Uh, Pepco told Ashi neighbors might have to wait until this morning for someone to take care of uh, all the down power lines. We've been out here uh, since around 3 a.m., have not seen anyone from Pepco just yet, uh, but we did speak with DC Fire and EMS who says uh, no one in this neighborhood uh, is hurt. Uh, so that's some good news. But again, major, major cleanup uh, that has to take place here uh, in this northwest neighborhood today. Annie, my goodness, Randy, that image behind you, as we're saying in the studio here is incredible. Uh, it could have been much worse, but I heard you say dozens mm -hmm. still without power. That is not comfortable, especially mm -hmm. on a day like today. Thank you for that update.